Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee, finishing up my coffee. I've already gone out and done chicken chores. I've let the chickens out into the yard, so I'm going to see if I can keep them inside the yard all day today. And a little later on, I'm going to see if I can get some of those big um, tea posts that uh, the lovely Miss Donna B gave me that were around the the Easter egg or chicken yard, you know, I want to see if I can get them out of the ground and put them in various spots around the chicken yard to get ready to put some fencing up, some good fencing. Um, but I did need to let you know, my my newest phone, it completely died and it will not charge at all anymore. Um, I wanted to see if it had the same kind of battery as the phone that I'm using right now, which is an LG Stylo 2. Um, <laughs> the other one that died is an LG Stylo 5 and it's got a back covering on it that you you basically have to pry open well not really pry open um, it is glued I, you can't just get in and get it out so I heated the back of it up and I got the back of it out and now completely different battery so that phone is toast so I'm back on my really really old phone but it's not a bad phone it'll be okay it's not as powerful it doesn't have as much storage it's not as fast but at least I can run the app that um, I, I use to create videos. At least I think so. I haven't tried it yet. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to try and make this video short today because what I want to do is I actually have two batteries. Oh, look at this. I've already been digging in the dirt. <laughs> I've got two batteries for this phone. And um, so I'm going to get them both charged up really well. Um, but in the meantime, check this out. I was so worried because I thought the puppies had chewed up all my seeds, but they didn't. I was able to rescue quite a few of my old seeds from last year. And I pulled some out um, that I think Margaret sent me, Margaret Heathcote. And I've got these. I saved these little cups. I'm going to poke a hole in the bottom and fill them with dirt and some of the seeds that she sent me. Um, they say they're packaged for 2020, but I'm going to see if I can get them to sprout. Um, I, I figure why not? I've got dirt, I've got containers, I've got water, so I'm going to see. So I'm going to see if I can get these to grow. Now I have brand new seeds from this year that I'm going to actually plant right directly out into the dirt once it gets warm enough. But um, I'm going to try and get these to grow. <laughs> I'm going to try and get these to grow. I'm going to put them in these little containers. Um, spearmint. I didn't even know I had that, and I'm so glad because um, the puppies had dug into that spot, a couple spots out there in the little concrete planters, and they they dug the spearmint up, peppermint. Um, this is also mint. I don't know what kind of mint. I don't know if it's peppermint or spearmint, but I'm going to try and plant some of that too. And then I'm going to do some Italian basil um, because I can put some of that in the, um, what do you call it, the palette garden. So I'm going to let my phones charge and get that all together and then I'll come back to you a little bit later. It has been a beautiful sunny day and I got both the batteries charged up for this phone. So I think that's going to work out okay at least until I can get another phone. So I went ahead and planted some little things and I'm going to show you what I did. That's what they look like when they're all covered up. So, I'm just going to show you. Um, this is my little idea of making greenhouses for each one. Um, all I did was I drilled a hole in the bottom and then I watered them really, really well and let the water drain out. And then, for when I have them inside, I just got these little baggies. <laughs> and put them down into the baggies and then I just put a larger baggie over the top to kind of make a little greenhouse effect so let's see I've got green bell peppers I've got um, that mint I'm not sure what kind it is I've got the spearmint going in here I've got beefsteak tomatoes I've got what's this this is basil and oh I forgot to tell you I had some leftover um, seeds some cayenne seeds from the prior year that I had planted and they're they're not from last year's they're from the year before and I've saved the seeds so I decided you know what I'm just gonna see if I can get them to grow I've got some more fresh seeds um, that I can use to grow as well but I just want to see if after they've been sitting for over a year if I could get them to sprout so this is my little greenhouse 
And then this, I just, what I do when it uh, gets cold and I take them in for the night, they just go back up onto the rack and then I bring them out the next morning to, you know, get some sunshine. So I'm going to cover this back up and hopefully some of these seeds will sprout. Well, it's a little after 5 p.m. and I don't think any more chickens are going to lay, so I'm going to go look for eggs. Oh, got one in here. That's a pretty one. Oh, look it. I got three in here. Right on. Oh, Mama laid in here. Look at that big old white egg. Thank you. One of the Easter Eggers. And now back in here. Oh, look. One, two, three, four, five. Let me grab them. There were actually six back in there. Yeah. So all the Easter Eggers laid. Mama laid. And it looks like... I don't see a cocoa egg in there. <laughs> so there's nine eggs. That's pretty good for one day for 11 hens. Remember how the puppies had destroyed my little sandals, my slip-ons? And I like to have something that I can just slip on my foot um, because sometimes I just cannot get my feet into my mud boots because the knuckle over this foot, it just hurts so bad sometimes, especially when it rains. It's been raining a lot lately. So I didn't have anything just to slip my feet into. So instead, I made something. <laughs> Look at this. I got these from a thrift store. I just cut off the back of them. Here, let me show you what I did. <laughs> I just cut off the back of them. So now all I need to do is just slip my foot right in. Look at that. Perfect. I love them. <laughs> They're very, very comfortable. Well, Beauty flew the coop, so I let the rest of the chickens out, and they've just been running around, hunting, pecking. Scarlet did get home last night, but I had to actually capture her. <laughs> yeah, so they're out there. Uh, different different flocks, different chickens are free-ranging with different chickens. Um, Mama has become accustomed to kind of sticking around the Easter eggers, so that's good. Scarlet is still off by herself. Who knows where? Hopefully she'll come back on her own this time so I don't have to go capture her. But look at they just drink out of puddles. Oh my gosh. Mom is happy. Oh. <laughs> Romeo's trying to do the, the rooster dance to get with her. <laughs> He's still kind of inelegant with it, but that's okay. They love him, and he's pretty good to them, that's for sure. It's been a really, really good day. It's been sunny. It's been warm. It's starting to kind of cool down a little bit. Oh, Junior! Goodness. Um, but it's winding down, so hopefully all the chickens will make it up into the run. I, I normally will coax them. I'll, I'll rattle a little thing with food in it, and they come, and I just call out to them, Here, chick, 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 come on, chickens! My neighbors probably think I'm nuts, but they all come except for Scarlet. So hopefully Scarlet will come tonight without me having to chase her around. Um, <laughs> I, I just want her to make friends with the rest of the flock, but because um, remember she was with the rest of the flock before, but she spent a lot of time away. So anyhow, uh, Junior got out of the yard. I have no idea. I, I went over to Mr. Lucas to check on him and his chickens and what's going on over there. I came back, and while I was walking back, I heard a, a puppy just wailing like it was in pain. And I think it was Junior because just before I got up to the gate, I, I saw him, and he, he had gotten out. So I couldn't find any weak points where he had gotten out. So I think he, he got in between the... Here, let me show you. I think he had gotten in between this because I normally tie it off with this and put this bungee on real tight, but I didn't use this. And so I think he got out, he wedged his way through and got stuck, and that's where the wailing was coming from. And he got out, so I got him back. There is absolutely no way I can contain these puppies, so the sooner I can rehome them, the better. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna miss them. I'm gonna miss them very much, all both of them. But it it's gonna be for the better. Um, just I, I'm hoping I can find a solution very quickly. Um, people have suggested getting a big dog run or a, a dog kennel. 
I would need a big one, a really super big one to house all three of them. And even so, I, I'm going to need to get one once I rehome the puppies for Papa when I'm out and about because I don't want him getting out. Although he doesn't really try and get out, I just don't want to risk it. So um, I'm thinking about solutions for that. Anyhow, um, nevertheless, it's been a good day. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.